Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So according to the security researchers, FortiGuard Labs, they have recently come across a new ransomware variant that's called Behead, which they say um, came out in May of this year, 2023, and they have discovered that there are at least three variants of the so-called Behead ransomware, which are all designed to encrypt files on machines that are affected to get your money and extort your money like most other ransomware variants and attacks. Now, I'll leave the um, post by FortiGuard Labs down below in the description because if you are interested, you can go read the whole article. Um, but just the main reason I'm posting this video today is because one of the big head ransomware variants that is displayed is a fake Windows update. And this is a, a screenshot of the so-called fake Windows update. And because we do talk about Windows updates on the channel, just to keep you posted and in the loop as we like to do. Now, I must just say at the outset um, that this so-called big head ransomware is not widespread. So it's affecting more the minority than the majority, but I'm just putting it out there. You may have heard of this, you may have not, but I'm just putting it out there to keep you informed. And something else just to take note of, um, I think that this will mainly affect your so-called um, um, not so technically inclined users. Um, who may um, click on things they shouldn't. Um, I don't think that your more technically inclined users would find themselves in this so-called situation, but just putting it out there as mentioned to keep you posted. Now, out of the three uh, variants of the so-called big, big Head Ransomware, there are at least two variants which have been named Variants A and Variants B. And those are the two main variants we are going to have a quick look at today in this video. Now, according to FortiGuard Labs, um, Variant A... Um, they say that with variant A, once Big Head Ransomware variant A is executed, it then displays this fake Windows update screen to basically trick you into believing that legitimate updates and actions are occurring behind the scenes. So that's why I say that this will mainly affect your not so technically inclined uh, individuals and your more technically inclined, I wouldn't think, would find themselves in this so-called situation. Now, moving on, they say the fake Windows update lasts about 30 seconds. So you'll see this screen for about 30 seconds and then it automatically closes. And by the time the so-called phony update has run and is done, the ransomware has already encrypted files on, on compromised mas machines with file names that are randomly altered. And if we have a look at one of those, he has a screenshot taken. And as we can see, the blue highlight is a file that has been randomly altered. So basically, that's what the ransomware does. And then after that, um, the ransomware then opens a ransom note labeled Read Me. And just that notepad text document, read me. We can see that at the top. And it has a set of random seven-digit numbers. So there we go, those random um, seven-digit numbers, 2303922, uh, that demands victims contact the attacker via email or telegram for file decryption and data leak. So basically, yeah, we can see that from the so-called ransomware note. And here is the email address, poop69news at, and they've obviously just um, taken that actual uh, domain name out. And just on the side note, if you are ever seen a poop69news in your inbox, I would never click on anything related to a, an email address that looks anything similar to that or anything attached. So just take note, if you do see any email address in your inbox or otherwise just avoid anything that looks like poop 69 news now getting back to the so-called big head ransomware so that's variant a now having a quick look at variant b if we move to the next screenshot this is a screenshot of variant b which is designed to encrypt files on compromised machines that uses powershell and like variant a the ransom note requests that victims contact the attacker using the same email address or telegram channel as we can see and once again we get the famous poop 69 news and as mentioned just avoid anything that does have an email address like that just on a side note so that's a uh, variant a and variant b and then once variant b um, has run it also gives you a similar um a notepad document with the seven random digits at the top and a readme note and obviously this is the ransomware note now just a couple of things uh, to take into consideration uh, especially um, with the so-called um, fake Windows update screen. Um, according to reports, this uh, big head ransomware is mainly affecting um, locations in Germany, uh, the United States, Italy, France, Belgium, Spain, Sweden, Turkey, and then a couple of other countries. So it's not full-on global, so to speak, but it is mainly affecting those regions. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'm just keeping you updated. I don't think there is any cause for concern. 
um, because it's not that widespread. And then obviously, I'll just mention a couple of things at the end of this video, just to avoid something like this, um, if you would be interested. And at this stage, it is unclear um, how this so-called ransomware is if actually being distributed, but there are reports that um, researchers have found one variant with a word icon, which could indicate a distribution using a fake word icon or document, but that's um, not official. That's just what reports are saying. Now, some things you can do to avoid a so-called ransomware attack like this. Obviously, this can only take place online. So first of all, what I would do if you are using any specific web browser is just make sure that it's up to date, like we do mention on this channel. And I would at first say, practice good computing habits, as I always say, and stay away from dodgy uh, websites, especially with websites that have email links called poop69news at whatever email address as mentioned. Stay away from that. And also never click on a link in your web browser or online that says update your machine using this link. Um, Microsoft will never do that as an example. And obviously that's just a link that's going to lead you nowhere and down a, a long miserable path when it comes to um, dodgy malware and ransomware attacks and that. So make sure your browser is up to date. Avoid dodgy sites and never click on any link, uh, especially with a fake email address like Poop69 News. So that's a couple of things, just I'm throwing it out there that you can do to avoid a so-called big head ransomware attack. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.